The throbbing sounds of the Yamaha CS Reface. Anyway, my name's Jack, and we're here at Anderson's TV today. And today the question is, what is a good synth for under how much? We've got in the room today, Chris the Maltese Falcon. Say hey. Hey. What's the idea of this video? Three synths under... 250? Under 250 quid. Under 250 quid, crikey! Now, there's loads of information out these uh, about these synths out there. And as you know, and I'll warn you, I'm not very well informed about anything in life, let alone synthesizers. But I do play them, and I enjoy them. So I'm just going to have a little flick through, give you a little taste test, and encourage you maybe to think about comparing these three together, and uh, let us know as well. We're trying to develop the channel and plan ahead at the moment we throw these videos in there, so please feel free to engage with us and send all your love and hate. Anyway, that was the Yamaha CS. We're going to start off with this and move through the three of them. What I love about the Reface range for me is the touch of the keyboard. Also, the speakers are in there. It's got really good proper inputs and outputs. I'm, I will declare an interest in these. I have the DX7 version and the CP version, which is like the pianos. This is the synthesizer one. So it's not analog, but it's there. I hope you got from that intro there. It's got real squelchiness to it. Very proper. So no presets on here. All legit. Let's see if we can get a, a core sound and then we'll just compare some of the, the basic sayings in there. Right. So LFO, I'm going to turn off. Could turn any effects I had on, resonance down, cut off open, envelope down, no release, blah, 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 oscillator type. Let's have a listen. Let's listen to that filter. Bit of resonance, half mast. Full res. Woo! Let's never do that again, Jack. Let's have a listen to the pulse width. For sign. Oh, cool. Woo! And that's what I'd say is really cool about this one. Just looking down the line of where we're going, I'm playing chords. Yeah, I love chords. I could play the odd three or two chords. Uh, and as we see, we're going to kind of limit maybe how many notes we can play at once, but we'll discuss the differences in a bit. But I like... This, it's very small, it comes with a lovely, um, you can get a really cool carry case for it as well. Uh, let's have a listen to some of the effects just on a simple uh, sound. Um. Cool, so I'm going to put a bit of delay on. I love that sound. And this filter's really squil squelchy. Bit of chorus and flange. 
got a little pitch bend. Woo! And what you heard at the beginning, it's got a looper in it as well. So a little bit of a, gives you a click. So fun, I dig it. That's the Yamaha CS, really lightly skimming over it. But this one is for the type of person that maybe um, is mainly a piano player, maybe in a you're in a band and you want a small keyboard to do specific synth sounds, maybe you want to play synth bass and you're a bass player, um, and it gives you a lot of, the choice of maybe something like a Gaia above it or um, the JDXI from Roland, but in a very compact package and a really cool sound to me. We're going to swiftly switch over to the monologue Hi back in the room and we're here with the Korg monologue. So we've just seen the Reface CS and good for you polyphonic brothers out there and sisters. On to the Korg monologue and let's listen to it. It's in its initial program here and uh, this is what happens if you hit a C. So a big brash saw wave. Love this little pitch bend thing, yeah. Now, I went for a little flam. Monologue is in the title one note at a time. But this is digital. It's making all its sounds with noughts and ones. This is analog. So, I don't actually scientifically know what's going on there, but there's a voltage control oscillator in here. And uh, analog filter and whatnot. This is for maybe the guy that isn't coming from piano pla playing background and is really already knows that he's into synthesis and also a really great learning synth, mainly because of this really cool feature. Out of the three we've got here, this is the only one with a screen. And as you see what happens, we can see a very clear, even though it's small, it's uh, like an OLED screen it looks like. And then when I change the waveform, we'll see it represented on the oscilloscope. Let's take that waveform and listen to the filter Again, I'm trying to remember the difference between this is all analog, is it worth it? I don't know, you gotta make the choice. I'm not buying this. I'm gonna start at the top and go down. And I love that screen. As you can see, it's shaving off the top of the waveform and you're starting to for me, it makes it easier to connect what cutoff means because I can see it visually um, and it's not all up here. Anyway, shut up, chat. Half mass resonance. Even then, I can see what resonance means to the waveform and I think it's very informative. Full resonance. Never do that again. It's got some really a visceral sound to it. More that I love the warmth. This sounded very warm and squelchy, and if anything, maybe like Yamaha CS80 type of sounds. This is a more punchy, monophonic beast. If you're into lead sounds, bass sounds, percussive things, let's have a flick through and see if there's any presets. Um, again, big difference between the two on this bad boy. Uh, no presets, and this, we've got loads of presets, so let's have a look. Let's find number one. Flick the preset.
drive. I really like that. Oh, I do like those have a little immediacy to it. And I think it's another video where I pit this against it. Maybe it'll be linked below. I don't know. If not, there's, it's already been out for a while. But again, trying to get across to you, here is kind of different. Keyboard wise, because it's monophonic, not as many keys. Uh, and you know you don't, you don't need it as much. It's got quite a wide range. Really low, really very wide range in oscillator. I'm waffling on. You've heard what it sounds like. Let's move on to our final one, the Micro Brute. See how that compares sonically. <laughs> Bang! And we're back with our final synthesizer out of this little mini buffet we've got here for under 250 squitters. This one's called the Micro Brute from a cool company in France called Arturia. Uh, pedigree in software synthesizers and for a fair few years now a real strong pedigree in proper analog synthesizers. Just to recap as well, that CS really good because it's polyphonic, digital and um, more keys on it. This chap in the middle of the monologue, very fat sound, real analog synthesizer, and hey, it's got wood on the back, so I'm sold. Lastly, the Micro Brute offers something slightly different. Let's just hear what its core tone sounds like. So, at its heart, we've got it just programmed with a sawtooth wave at the moment, so let's have a listen to that. Let's take it down an octave. Nice. Firstly as well, form factor, smallest of the three, so really good if uh, for throwing in a laptop bag. One thing is the keys are a lot smaller and are fine to widdly woo on, uh, but definitely less refined as to these chaps. And again, monophonic analog, but this has a lot of different flavors in the oscillator section. So. You can hear I'm bringing in an ultra saw. And let's listen to the square wave. I can change that pulse width. And then we can hear the triangle. Oh, that metalizer. I love that this effect. Basically, so you've got the core waveforms, and then above, how you can. It's like wave shaping. To me, the metalizer. And what's cool is you can bundle all of those in together. Let's see what that sounds like. It's gonna sound like. There we are out. And let's go back to this core saw wave and see what happens. You can bring in an overtone. Heavy stuff. Sub or a fifth. Very hefty. It even goes lower. Woo! So a lot of core. It, those core oscillators really have a wide variety and a lot of heft to the sound. Let's go for medium overtone saw wave and here one of the, it's in the title, Micro Brute, Brute Factor.
like a multi-drive circuit in there. Sweep the filter on that. Multi-mode filter as well. Just having a look across, that's different single type of filter there. So this one's got band pass as well. High pass. Let's listen to that resonance. There's no resonance, half mast. Full resonance. That's what Danish Pete sounds like when he doesn't get his bacon in the mornings. Here we are, uh, LFO, envelope, and what is sets this apart as well? Maybe, so this is a guy from a keyboard playing background. This is the guy just, knows he wants synths but wants to learn and have presets here no presets all as it comes but it will come with a few little patch cables and this alludes to this little mini patch bay you've got here so we can reroute the synthesizer using these cables for example i could assign the lfo to the filter and uh, let's get that going Oh, envelope. Anyway, it's come to the end of the day. We've actually got places to go to, haven't we, yep, Chris? That's right. And there are some great demos on there, but I wanted to express to you that this, that is a main difference here as well. It's got a cool sequencer in it. Again, there's a sequencer in here. That's got a looper. These are the core differences. And just want to show you from Anton's what you can get, maybe coming up to Christmas for under 250 quid. Maybe you've bought all the drive pedals for your husband or wife and they deserve a synthesizer in their life. I'm going to leave you with uh, a sequence. Let's see if this works. Crikey, this is so risky. Let's get a sound first. Cool. I'm going to jam out on that and I'll see you next time.